reliability of an event. Consider the following example. Let S be a sample space associated with the experiment of examining three consecutive pens produced by a machine and classified as good, non-defective and bad, defective. We may get 0, 1, 2 or 3 defective pens as a result of this examination. A sample space associated with this experiment is S which is as shown. Here B stands for a defective or bad pen and G for a non-defective or good pen. Let the probabilities assigned to the outcomes be as follows. Then, event A, there is exactly one defective pen and event B, there are at least two defective pens. Hence, A and B contain the shown elements. Now, probability of A is equal to summation of probability of omega i for all omega i belonging to A which is equal to probability of BGG plus probability of GBG plus probability of GGB is equal to 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 which comes out to be equal to 3 by 8. And again probability of B is equal to summation of probability of omega i's for all omega i belonging to B. It is equal to probability of BBG plus probability of BGB plus probability of GBB plus probability of BBB which is equal to adding 1 by 8 4 times that comes out to be half. Probabilities of equally likely outcomes. Let a sample space of an experiment be S containing omega 1, omega 2 up to omega n. Let all the outcomes are equally likely to occur. That is, the chance of occurrence of each simple event must be same. That is, probability of omega i is equal to p for all omega i belonging to S where p is greater than 0 and less than or equal to 1. Now since summation from i equals to 1 to n of probability of omega i is equal to 1 that is p plus p up to n times is equal to 1 or we can say n into p equals to 1 that is p equals to 1 by n. Let s be a sample space and e be an event such that n s is equal to n and n e equals to m. If each outcome is equally likely, then it follows that probability of E equals to M by N. That is, the number of outcomes favorable to E divided by the total possible outcomes. Probability of the event A or B Let us now find the probability of event A or B. That is, probability of A union B. Let A and B contain the shown elements and these be two events associated with tossing of a coin thrice. Clearly, A union B contains the shown elements. Now probability of A union B can be obtained by adding the probabilities of each element. If all the outcomes are equally likely, then probability of A union B will be obtained by adding 1 by 8 4 times which is equal to half. Also probability of A is equal to probability of HHT plus probability of HTH plus probability of THH which is equal to 3 by 8. Similarly probability of B is also equal to 3 by 8. Therefore probability of A plus probability of B is equal to 6 by 8. It is clear that probability of A union B is not equal to probability of A plus probability of B. The points HTH and THH are common to both A and B. In the computation of probability of A plus probability of B, the probabilities of P 
points HTH and THH that is the elements of A intersection B are included twice. Thus, to get the probability of A union B, we have to subtract the probabilities of the sample points in A intersection B from probability of A plus probability of B. That is, probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus summation of probability of omega i for all omega i belonging to A intersection B. Thus, we observe that probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. Now this is an important relation which you should remember. In general, if A and B are any two events associated with a random experiment, then by the definition of probability of an event, we have probability of A union B is equal to summation of probability of omega i for all omega i belonging to A union B. Since A union B is equal to A minus B union A intersection B union B minus A. We have probability of A union B is equal to summation of probability of omega i for all omega i belonging to A minus B plus summation of probability of omega i for all omega i belonging to A intersection B plus summation of probability of omega i for all omega i belonging to B minus A because A minus B, A intersection B and B minus A are all mutually exclusive. Also, probability of A plus probability of B is equal to summation of probability of omega i for all omega i belonging to A plus probability of omega i for all omega i belonging to B is equal to summation of probability of omega i for all omega i belonging to A minus B union A intersection B plus summation of probability of omega i for all omega i belonging to B minus A union A intersection B. Similarly, summation of probability of omega i for all omega i belonging to A minus B plus probability of omega i for omega i belonging to A intersection B plus summation of probability of omega i for all omega i belonging to B minus A plus summation of probability of omega i for all omega i belonging to A intersection B. Now using the relation 1, we finally get the answer as probability of A union B plus probability of A intersection B. Hence, probability of A union B equals to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. The above result can further be verified by observing the following Venn diagram. Probability of event not A. Consider the event A containing 2, 4, 6 and 8 associated with the experiment of drawing a card from a deck of 10 cards numbered 1 to 10. The sample space S contains 1, 2, 3 up to 10. If all the outcomes in the sample space are considered to be equally likely, then the probability of each outcome is 1 by 10. Now, probability of A equals to probability of 2 plus probability of 4 plus probability of 6 plus probability of 8, which is equal to adding 1 by 10 4 times, that is 2 by 5. Also, event not A, that is A dash, contains the elements 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and 10. Now probability of A dash is equal to probability of 1 plus probability of 3 plus probability of 5 plus probability of 7 plus probability of 9 plus probability of 10 which is equal to 3 by 5. Thus, you will note that probability of A dash is equal to 3 by 5 which is nothing but 
1 minus 2 by 5 that is 1 minus probability of A. Also we know that A dash and A are mutually exclusive and exhaustive events that is A intersection A dash is null set and A union A dash is the sample space or we can say probability of A union A dash is equal to probability of the sample space that is equal to 1 by using axioms 2 and 3. So probability of A dash is equal to probability of not A and is equal to 1 minus probability of A.